Disney World is full of secrets, like a forced perspective and even a second level of the Magic Kingdom, and in today's video I'm going to go over the top 10 secrets that you may not know about the place where dreams come true. Before we dive in, I do need to warn you, a lot of these things might be considered spoilers to the magic, nothing major, but a few little things here and there. So if you don't want to know about those secrets, turn the video off now, otherwise let's jump right in. Secret number 10, there is a second level to the Magic Kingdom where cast members scurry about getting the magic ready for all of us. These underground corridors, also known as Utilidors, have entrances all over the Magic Kingdom from areas that you may not be able to see. Some you kind of can, others you can't, and they span over 390 square feet. On the first level of the Magic Kingdom, they have prop setup areas, costume areas, places for cast members to sit back and relax, places for those utilities to run through like trash and water and electricity go through. It's all happening underneath the Magic Kingdom, and it makes the magic come alive every single day. The idea for the Utilidors came from Walt Disney himself when he saw a cast member in a certain outfit that didn't fit in a certain area. For example, a cowboy walking through a space area like Tomorrowland. He said, that doesn't work. Let's instead have the cast members go down in the areas that they're supposed to be in so they disappear completely and maintain that magical appearance of the Magic Kingdom. I can only imagine what the conversation was like when he talked to those engineers and he said, okay, let's build a second level of the Magic Kingdom, and they were all saying, you know, why are we doing this? But now that we see it in action, we are so grateful for this wonderful idea. Number nine, Disney uses forced perspective to make buildings look bigger than they really are. In the area of Walt Disney World, and I would imagine other areas of the United States as well, if you have a building over 200 feet, it has to have a flashing light on it to let aircraft know that it's there. Walt did not want to have that. He said to himself, you know what, we're not doing that. Instead, we're gonna make it like 188 or 190 feet, just under that requirement. And then we're gonna scale the building so it looks really, really big. As you're walking down Main Street, looking up at the buildings around you, you're not supposed to be able to notice this. And you honestly can't. I mean, you can look at it and say, oh, okay, I understand that it's a forced perspective, but I can't really see it with my eye. That's the trick. You cannot see it no matter how much you think about it. A good example, though, of how this works is the new Beauty and the Beast castle located above Be Our Guest restaurant. That castle looks like it's hundreds and hundreds, maybe even thousands of feet away, but in reality, it is less than 200 feet away from you as well. The way Disney does this, and it's hard to explain, but they shrink the building in a certain way that makes it look like it's further away than it really is. Hard to explain, but you just have to imagine kind of like a tilt, a tilt they put to it to make it look like it's really far away. Number eight, every single American flag in the Magic Kingdom, excluding the one on the flagpole, is not a true American flag. You know how much of a patriot I am when I see the American flag flying. It fills me with pride and Walt felt the same way and that's why you see all of these pennants flying all around the Magic Kingdom. But Walt also didn't want to take away from the time the cast members really do need to spend on Main Street to raise and lower these flags and make sure they follow all the flag etiquette. For those who don't know, in the United States we really love our flag and to show respect we take it out of the rain or we make sure it's illuminated at night and if we don't have a way to illuminate it at night, we will take it down with a flag retreat ceremony. Walt Disney loved classic Americana, and he loved the American flag, and you can see that still in the company today when they take down the flag and show respect to it. They have an honor guard, they hand it to a veteran to honor them, which I think is so great. The whole thing is fantastic. But the other flags that stay up all around the Magic Kingdom, those aren't flags, they're pennants. The reason they are, because they're missing maybe a star here or a stripe there, so they can stay up year round. It's a great way for Disney to to showcase its American pride. They focus on that one flag on the flagpole that gets the official flag retreat ceremony, and the rest of them can fly year-round. Number seven, if you're a fan of chewing gum, you are out of luck at Walt Disney World. When Walt was first thinking of a place to build for families to come together and share in the magic, he visited other theme parks, and he realized that there was gum on the ground just about everywhere. It would get stuck to his shoes. It was just gross. He did not like it, so he chose way back when to not sell gum at all at the theme parks. And to this day, the Disney company maintains that vision and does not sell gum in their theme parks. Number six, Disney uses some special techniques to make sure all of the animals in their care are happy, healthy, and are showcased in front of the guests. One good example of this are those lions at Kilimanjaro Safaris in the Animal Kingdom. And those lions are truly treated like kings. Believe it or not, these lions actually have an outdoor air conditioning system. Yes, you heard that right. They can sit back, 
back, relax. They can get little water misters sometimes. It's a lot of fun for them. They can relax. And it's in an area where the guests can see them as well. It's a really smart trick to keep the animals happy and the guests happy. Number five, Disney uses all sorts of special techniques to hide things in plain sight that you would have otherwise seen. Disney has several different methods to hide things in plain sight. Even cast member parking areas are totally hidden by maybe a tree line or a wall somewhere just when you think, oh, it's nothing over there, it's part of the scenery, it is blocking your sight to something that would make your view less magical. Disney's really good at this. Disney has even spent a lot of time and money designing a color that your eye naturally doesn't really pay attention to. It's called Go Away Green, and it's used throughout the park. Disney might use this color to mask something that they don't want you to necessarily pay attention to. Maybe you can see it. You can absolutely see it if you're paying attention. But if you're not really looking for it, your eyes are naturally just going to pass right over it. And Disney has done all of this research to figure out what the human brain and the eyes are and are not going to pay attention to, and they designed this color. So smart. Number four, Walt Disney World is one of the largest single site employers in the world. Walt Disney famously said, you can design and create and build the most wonderful place in the world, but it takes people to make the dream a reality. Which is why at Walt Disney World, Disney hires 70,000 cast members who are working day and night to make sure the magic stays alive. They even have their own bus system to take them where they need to go. Number three, the rules at Walt Disney World are serious, and if you don't follow them, they can result in a ban even for life. It honestly scares me. The idea of never being allowed, you know what, I, I can't deal with that. I cannot, I can't deal with that. So I am always going to follow the rules no matter what. Now I do want to say that the Disney security team is fantastic. They're always patient, kind, understanding. They're gonna take their time to make sure they explain everything. If you have any questions, don't be afraid of them. They're really nice people. But you may remember, not so long ago, if you've been with us for a while, there was a security guard who was relatively new who was walking around Disney Springs. And I was there bright and early in the morning, we were doing a live stream together, and he told me that live streaming was not allowed. And I was a little bit worried, but of course, I turned it off right away. And then I went to find the supervisor security guard, because they are really nice people, and I asked him what the rules are, wanted to make sure I was following them. Sure enough, this was a lesson for this other security guard to learn. And I'm super glad it happened with me, because that's, you know, it's great experience for us all. We can learn about what's best, and he had a chance to learn and grow as a security guard, and it was fine. No hard feelings at all. I'm very glad that we all had this opportunity. But it goes to show these are great people. They're the same as you and me, and they're more than happy to talk to you and explain everything. It's all about guest safety. If you're still worried about possible lifetime bans to Walt Disney World, and the idea alone terrifies me, the biggest things to remember, never ever bring any kind of weapon to Walt Disney World, and do not cross an area where they say do not cross with a sign. Those are two of the biggest things. Don't do those things, you're in really good shape. But there's a full list, again, of the rules in the description of this video. Now that tip is a great onset to our next one, Number two on my list, Disney security is everywhere and they have an extremely advanced system. This is a great thing and I do not say that lightly because it really makes us all safe. We're all there to have a magical time and Disney security is there to keep us safe and they have all these systems in place to make sure that everyone is following the rules to make sure that everyone is safe. With this advanced system, you can imagine they have a plethora of different cameras around Walt Disney World. But I ask you a question, have you ever seen one of these security cameras? It's interesting to think about, right? Like we walk around Walt Disney World in the parking lots everywhere. You, they must have hundreds if not thousands of cameras all around, all over the place, in the, in the parks, in the parking lots, everywhere and we almost never see them. Disney is super good at hiding these things, and it goes to show how advanced these security systems are. Now, obviously, I don't know all of the details about the Disney security system, but that is equally important because that way all of the bad guys also don't know what this security system entails, so they can't try and beat the system, making us all a lot safer. Last but not least, the number one secret at Walt Disney World, Disney cast members use a special code to communicate something important. We can only imagine all of the codes they have. Maybe they use code 101 if someone, you know, fell down and broke a bone, God forbid. Or maybe they use 102 if, you know, there's a lost child somewhere to make sure that the cast members around them know what's going on. Not only do the cast members use special codes to communicate with each other, but Disney has all sorts of policies and practices that all of the cast members have to know to make sure they follow all of the procedures to keep everyone safe. An example of this is when a hurricane comes around. We were there 
during a hurricane in the past, and the cast members knew exactly what to do. They had flashlights, they had teams of two walking around, making sure everyone was in their rooms, staying safe. They knew what they had to do right away. Disney was on top of this, and the cast members are well informed. So what did you think about those top 10 secrets of Walt Disney World? And be honest, how many of the 10 did you know? Four out of 10, five out of 10, maybe even nine out of 10? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me. Until next time, have a magical day. Thank you.